the things I know that impressed me the most, even when I was, you know, 18 or 17 or whatever it was when I showed up in New York to see him, was what he considered to be the audition process. We, we put on puppets and stood in front of the mirror for about 20 minutes. And then that afternoon he called Frank in and we did maybe another 15 minutes. And they sort of said a couple things between them and Frank nodded yes and I had a job. Um, but Jim had already said to me on the phone before he brought me to New York, about three or four months before that, he was gonna give me a job before he ever saw me puppeteer in person. Now I had sent him a videotape, which was pretty crude, but he already gave me a job and it said he was gonna do it. And he said, you might be working in the workshop building puppets, or you might, which is a good thing I didn't because I wasn't that good. So you might be puppeteering. Mm -hmm. So we spent the next two to three days after that never working with puppets again. All we did was sit around and talk and just spend two or three days together. And so what that told me was that it was far more important to Jim to find someone that he knew was going to fit in to his group dynamic and to his core group than it was to find a great puppeteer. Um, you know, he, he, and he loved getting young people to join when he could because he felt like he could train those people in his way of doing things, his way of puppeteering, his style of work, as opposed to someone who'd had 10 years experience who kind of might be set in their ways and had their style. Um, They're broken already. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But you'd have yeah. to unlearn an awful lot, you know? Yeah, you can't. Right. So I was the perfect kind of person, type of person to come along at the perfect age at the right time. Um, but that impressed me that Jim was far more interested in who I was as a person than he was about whether or not I was a reasonably good puppeteer, which is how I would have approached looking for a successor had I had the chance to do it. Yeah, sure. No, it wouldn't have been an audition That's process. Great. It would have been choosing that person, the lineage. You choose the person yeah. who's going to secede you.